Picture this, a recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. It's the 20th of July, and I'm looking at Spider-Man, the animated series, on the Super Nintendo. And, uh, it's... I mean... He's bulky, isn't he? He's obviously been working out. Anyway, um, just a quick apology, because I haven't done a review for nearly a week, or probably over a week now, uh, but life has been busy on a personal level. Um, as you know, I am looking for somewhere else to live at the moment, and I've been viewing flats and stuff. So um, hopefully in the next sort of month or so, I shall be in a new studio, and uh, content will be far more regular than it has been. But I'm going to make an effort to try and do this because my my lifestyle's changed a little bit, so I've got some time in the mornings now, so I might be able to dish out a few more reviews. Anyway, I hope you're all well and uh, dealing with everything, and hopefully enjoying the fact that life is returning to normal pretty much. Anyway, let's get on with this. Now, you, this was uh, this was done by Acclaim and uh, <laughs> LJN, which, if you're not familiar with LJN, their games were mainly tripe. Um, yeah, that's probably about that's probably the politest way I can put it on the channel. The games were tripe. If you're not sure what tripe is, Google it. Anyway, let's have a look. I mean, he does look like he swapped places with the Incredible Hulk, doesn't he? Um, it's oh God. This okay. I mean, graphically, it's actually not that bad. Apart from Spidey, just. Look at the way he's walking. I mean, that's just nobody walks like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the graphics of and the colours on Spider-Man. I just, just uh, not sure why they've gone with the Incredible Hulk slash Spider-Man hybrid. Bit strange. And yes, I'm trying to jump kick that. Here we go. <clears throat> right. So, I mean, other than that, it's. The uh, backgrounds are a bit bland, but I suppose we're in some sort of factory or something like that, along those lines. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we're going to progress through as, as best as I can. Um, it's very sluggish. So, but, oh, there we go. There's a bit of a nicer uh, backdrop. There. Oh, cool. Oh, look at the car. <laughs> Does he really climb like that? I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at the UI. In the top left, you've got... Uh, your lives, which we've got five of those, and uh, something that I'm noticing, which is quite cool actually, is that when there's danger on the screen, the eyes glow on the little portrait there, which is quite cool. In the top right hand corner, you've got how much web fluid you got left, and I'm dead, um, and the middle big long bar is your lives. Now, this is all fun and games, I hear you say. No. Not really. The controls are... well... Shall we go into the controls? That might be an idea. Alright, so you've got up and down, left and right, as per normal. Then you've got web shoot, uh, which you can do in multiple directions. You can stick to the ceiling, um, but you can't seem to sort of crawl on the ceiling, which is weird, and you can't you can't go at walls. Uh, you can run, like you can see there. One of the, or you can just do this macho stride which is weird. Anyway, so yeah, you can attack, you can't attack that, but apparently it can hit you. Look, it stuns you. It's great, isn't it? Um, <laughs> what was going on then? I don't know. But yeah, you can sort of web sling across gaps and things like that, but normally only when Spider-Man wants to. So there we are. No, I can't go throughout that door. Okay. Did you see the skill in that duck? Did you? Did you see the skill? So it's always worth picking up all the extra bits that you come across as well. Um, you've got extra lives, you've got extra web fluid and stuff like that. So, always good. Now the thing is, you can't look down or anything, so you're going to... Yeah, 
that that was what I was about to say actually but the game did it for me great yes essentially what happens is because you can't see what's below you on the screen I can't destroy that it's weird but because you can't see what's below you you nine times out of ten you're gonna find yourself falling into a pit which you couldn't see to avoid which is a great design there well done thumbs down um, yeah Controls are okay, but they, they're not exactly what you'd call responsive. Uh, sometimes you'll push a button combination to do something, and the game will have other ideas. Uh, so it gets quite frustrating. Case in point was when I was trying to jump kick the, uh, the, the grate to climb through it, um, and it just wouldn't kick. Now, this looks great, doesn't it? You can't escape that wall. So what it's going to be put... Oh, there's an enemy there throwing his fists at me. Fantastic. Look, I can't hit him. You, you can't hit him with web fluid. You've, you've got to punch him in the bollocks. Um, apparently. Oh, look. And he's killed me really, really fast. Um, not quite... Uh, you see, the, your health bar, it, it just depletes so quickly. Um, look, look, I'm giving a right... There you go. And now the wall's retracting. It's a bit of a wasted mechanic, that, really. I mean, unless it's a boss fight or something. I mean, yeah, he took a, he took more hits than the average bear, but at the end of the day... Oh, these things are annoying as well. Yeah, you've got to sort of shoot them with your webs to be able to knock them out of the sky. Um, but, yeah. If you've ever played this game, I'm pretty sure you can understand where I'm coming from with a lot of this. It's not... I mean... I don't know. Has there been worse Spider-Man games? I, I mean, LJN don't do a great job in general um, but this could have been so much better anyway let's move on sound well disappointing is what I'm gonna say the uh, the music is awful absolutely awful it's just this repetitive horrible beaty kind of sound and it's just really really nasty um, and the, the, <laughs> the game's oh, it, was, it was about the best you're going to get from killing something. Now, it's quite clever with this, I'm going to have to say, is that you can web these and then they, yeah. You can't destroy them, but you can web them. I think that's quite quite a nice feature, but uh, too little, too late, really. Um, In-game sounds are a bit mediocre. I quite like the fact you can punch these consoles and get bits and pieces out of them. But again, you know, it's it's just... It's really slow. That's one of my main issues with this as well. So the game's just really sluggish. And as you can see here, when you're moving to the left of the screen, it's going to put you right close to the edge. So if something does appear out of there, you, you've got no chance to prepare yourself. So the great design there. Not. Um, but I suppose, you know, I, I, I guess if you pick this up for a couple of pounds, or a couple of dollars, uh, you'd be alright with it. But if you paid the full ticket price, which would have been around 45 to 50 pounds, or 60 dollars, then I think you would have just probably gone and murdered the shop assistant that sold it to you. Um, so yeah, it does, it's it's not, it's got a lot of flaws, and unfortunately I'm, I'm struggling to enjoy this. So I didn't even do that! It's like Spider-Man has a mind of his own. Um, playability, well, I think we just covered that. It's not great. I... Why can't I punch him? Okay, maybe he's in the foreground and I'm in the background, so... Let's have a look. Can I hit him now? There's that jump kick problem again. Um, yeah. Great fun. No, I've had more fun boiling my face in acid. Um, uh, replay factor, I don't actually think you'd want to come back to this. And if you did, you're sadistic. Um, to yourself which is strange. Now, there are web grenades and stuff as well, but you need to press the start button to be able to get access to those, and, and that just sort of takes some of the fun out of it for me. So you should have them quick. Um, you should be able to change them on the fly very quickly with a button press, and not have to go into the start menu and do it all like that. Now, those things just take a chunk of your health off. It's ridiculous. Age range. Well, you know, you'd think Spider-Man being Spider-Man would be designed for kids. But I think kids would actually struggle with this. Um, you know, I'm a veteran gamer. And I, I know I don't have the best track record sometimes, but 
at the end of the day, I'm not a bad player. So, but this is awful. And it's mainly down to the control system because it just it just doesn't respond in the way that you want it to or when you want it to more precisely so uh, unfortunately this is spider shite um, uh, uh, it's a side scrolling platform beat em up type thing and it's a one player game I don't really see how they could have done two player unless they incorporated venom into it but oh look it's Dr Octopus who's probably going to just slaughter me in seconds but yeah this is the first boss of the Oh, you can laugh. Yeah, yeah, you laugh it up, mister. Anyway, I can't seem to hit him. Look, I'm standing right next to him. I can't hit... I can't hit him. That was amusing. Um, yeah, I... How are you supposed to beat this guy? He's got... Look, I'm... I, he... He doesn't even have a health bar, so I wouldn't even know how much damage I've done for him. Anyway, that's about it from me. I uh, just wanted to mention my Patreon. I, that is live now, and the link is in the description. If you feel that you could part with a, a couple of quid a month um, to support me and the channel, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, you will get subscriber benefits such as full HD video, bonus um, content, including exclusive reviews which you won't see on this channel. So if you could support me, that would be amazing. Hello to all new subscribers by the way and thank you to my existing Patreon. Um, it's only been live a couple of days and I've already got one, so that's great. If you could add to that, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, I will see you again soon. Uh, you keep it retro, and bye for now.